Okay, good morning. We're going, to, uh, we're going to open up a standard 15 inch MacBook Pro generation uh, mid 2008 Santa Rosa architecture. Just going to disconnect this unit and lie it flat upside down so it, the battery is exposed here. And to remove the battery, just pull these latches here. The battery comes out. Right to the side. For now, as you can see, there are three, I guess these are mini torque screws. These just have to be removed. This panel comes out inside uh, the RAM modules to be replaced. I have pretty cheap tools with me now. I have my little $9 kit. Uh, may have something better. Uh, let's hope this works because my screwdriver here isn't exactly the best but it should work. Touch your finger to the metal plate to discharge any static electricity and remove the three torque screws. Here's the unit with the three mini torque screws removed. We just put the screws off into a safe place and as you can see we can just now lift off this lid. Inside are the RAM modules underneath the casing. You can see there's two of them and a diagram showing how to remove uh, the RAM is shown here. It should be straightforward from now. The whole procedure should take under two minutes. Go ahead and proceed with that. All you have to do to release the RAM is to pull at the, uh, the clips on the side to release the modules and then pull them. Uh, it'll tilt up and you pull it out straight out. As you can see I just pulled on these two clips to loosen the thing and now it's popped up at a 45 or an angle and I just pull it straight out of there. And we'll just put this, we'll pop the two down here and remove this RAM chip also and replace it with another uh, two gig chip. As you can see, we pulled out the clips for the second underlying chip, put it at an angle and it should pull straight out. There you go. Okay, it's pretty simple stuff. We've removed it from the packaging. I'm just going to insert it into the case. You'll notice here that there's a notch. In the, uh, into the slot, so you're gonna have to make sure you flip the chip into the correct direction so that the notch on the chip matches the notch in the receiving slot. And then you just insert here into the slot, make sure you push firmly so that it goes into the slot at the right angle, firmly seated, and now we're gonna push it, push down on it, and it should be locked into place. Here we go with the second chip module. Just make sure that the notches on the chip match the notch location on the motherboard. Actually, I'm sorry, it's actually a daughter card, I guess. I, I'm not an IT person, so I don't remember all the terminology, but make sure that the contacts are seated properly there. And push down firmly until the RAM slots, until the RAM seat firmly in place. Ensure that the clips are fully engaged and um, that's it. So let's just replace the, replace the cover, line up the holes for the mini torque screws and then use your screwdriver to carefully put back the, the screws. Take this here and line up the back end and then push down. And now the case is now closed. Flip it over, we're gonna do a test. Looking good, we have the Apple symbol at boot, which means everything is in place. Well, I guess diagnostics check out. As you can see, the unit is logging into the normal workspace. On the finder, the app menu, and then we'll just go pull out about this Mac. And as you can see, memory, it says four gigabytes of uh, four gigabytes of RAM. Procedure took less than five minutes if you don't count me hitting record and pause, but it's really a simple procedure, and now you guys know how to do it.